Hard clashes are continued in the front today. The main structure of the Donetsk airport is firmly held by infantry of Novorussian military. There is periodically heavy shelling by Kiev's junta at the Novorussian position at the airport. Same time, Novorussian armed forces entered village of Devka. Also, the village Lebedinsky around Mariupol was taken by Novorussian forces. There are hard clashes at the villages Pesky and Alexandrovka. Main Ukrainian forces are trying to defend their positions. Ukrainian artillery shelled Hospital 3 at the center of Donetsk yesterday. Why don't Ukrainian army know that hospitals are not military objects? Also, residential areas of Gorlovka were shelled by Ukrainian army yesterday. We remember, there is no clashes in the Gorlovka last time. So, Ukrainian artillery shells city just for fun. Likely, it is clear fact that the Ukrainian army prefer to fight against civilians, not Novorossian armed forces. As a result, the Ukrainian foreign ministry has announced that Kyiv is ready to participate in consultations of the trilateral contact group with the parties that signed the Minsk agreements yesterday. We remember, Minsk talks was cancelled by Ukrainian side on January 16, 2015. There will be no talks today, an employee of the Ukrainian embassy in Belarus told the Russian state news agency RIA Novosti in the day. Only four days of real clashes were needed to pussies in Kyiv government for make a step from there will be no talks today to please let's start the negotiations. There are all valence of Ukrainian government and Ukrainian army in one fact. Further, Ukraine's government prepares provocation at the border with Russia. President of International Center of Geopolitic Analysis, Colonel General Leonid Ivashov, believes that Ukrainian army prepares a big provocation. According to military expert, 300 or more units of Ukrainian military equipment, MLRS Graz, RS.U, are deployed on Arbatska Strelka, Kherson region around Russian Republic Crimea. Further, right sector's militias start sabotage and intelligence activities in Crimea. They know that Crimea is Russia. They have another test to provoke conflict, said the show. General is not excluded that war in Crimea will be provoked in next month. NATO's country will join to this conflict. The scenario is perfected in Iraq, Libya, Syria and Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. It's going demonstration of Russian country and Russian leader we are claimed the world threat. I don't believe in Euromaidan by a chance. I get into the way to operate geopolitics. It's the geopolitic plan and it's working, added Eva Shaw. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.